right, what's up? Tuesday, max velocity day on the track. I just did the elastic series as my warm up. Feeling real good. We've got six sets of wickets today. You can see the cones behind me already set up. All 12 of those cones today are right, 210 centimeters. We're gonna rest about three minutes in between each of the wickets. And then we're gonna finish today off with some 50s and 60s. Just kind of build ups to 90%. So we'll attack those a little bit moderate to begin with. And then hopefully the last 30 to 20 meters will be up at that 90% speed range. So that's the plan for this morning. So it's a lot warmer than normal. So I'm already sweating like crazy. So we're gonna get after it. I'm not sure what happened there, but the lights went out during training, so I had to finish up my workout this morning in the dark. Um, all good though, finished up with the wickets, then had some 50s and 60s to do, so knocked those out. I had two sets, it was 50, 60, 60, 50, 60, 60, and the rest between that was about three to four minutes between the reps, and then about five minutes in between the first set to the second set, so feeling good. Next up, we've got a weightlifting session for this afternoon, upper body strength focus and power work, um, and then that's gonna be it for the day. So afternoon session is done. Um, today was focused on upper body power and strength. So the workout started with doing those drop push-ups. And I had a question on social media specifically asking about the drop push-ups and like what the focus on doing that is. So the main thing is, is don't confuse a drop push-up with a depth push-up. Um, the difference with those is on a drop push-up, you wanna try to make contact with the ground with your elbows around 90 degrees and then immediately push the floor away. You don't want that flexion of the elbow to continue, so you're kind of building momentum and then bouncing out of the bottom of a push-up. So you wanna come off the bench or the boxes or whatever you're using 
have your hands make contact with the ground and immediately you're thinking of basically like punching the ground and trying to extend yourself forcefully. Where in a depth push up, you're gonna be coming down to the ground, you're kind of absorbing some of that momentum and then pushing back off of that on top of the box. So that would be the difference between the two. Um, so for specifically for the drop push ups, what I'm focusing on is making contact and just punching the ground and that's kind of what I'm looking for there. I had six sets of two. I like to do this in between my warm up sets as I'm building up for the bench. Um, so I led the drop push ups and those warm up sets going into my bench press workout today, which was four doubles at 135 kilos. And then I had a fifth set, which was an AMRAP, and I was able to get eight reps on that. I was happy with that. Bench press is notoriously my worst lift. So doing 135 for eight for me was really good. I neglected it for many years and just started re-implementing it over the past few years and trying to focus on building that up. So happy with that eight reps there. Followed that up with some chest supported dumbbell rows. I was using 80 pound dumbbells today. I like to do my chest supported rows on a slight incline and think about kind of pulling my elbows back behind my waist. So it keeps the dumbbells nice and low, keeps the elbows in tight to the body, and then I get a good contraction with the back there. So I did four sets of eight repetitions on that. After the rows, we had a dumbbell reverse flies. So the reason you'll see me kind of sit on a bench is because I really want to focus on the rear delt. It's not a big range of motion when you're doing the reverse flies. It's I'm letting the bench kind of allow my shoulders to come forward a little bit and then I'm just focused on basically moving my elbow up. I don't really care what my arm is doing between the elbow and the wrist because that's just there to hold on to the weight. I'm focused on bringing that elbow up, really feeling that contraction in the back of the shoulder and then bringing it back down. So it's a real short range of motion, three sets of 20 reps on that and then followed that up with some banded bicep curls um, very important train your arms I like to do biceps on Tuesdays and then I'll do triceps on my weekend upper body session uh, so I did three sets of 10 to 12 I think I did 12 reps my first set and then my last two sets I did sets of 10 there uh, and then that was it for the day so upper body strength and power workout feeling great um, I might have to move around some things this week in terms of my training schedule just because we're trying to get the gym uh, up and running for August 1st, which means I might take an extra rest day tomorrow and kind of scoot every day back one. Um, so try to combine some things so where I can get all my training done throughout the week and try to get as much done at the gym as I want now. So the floor is down right now. We've been painting. I'll give you guys an update on the gym probably later this week. I wanna have some time to get in there and film a little bit. So other than that, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll be back at it later this week. Uh, we've still got some acceleration work to do. We've got some power work to do. We've got a lot of strength work to do in the rest of the week as well. So if you have any questions at all, make sure to drop that down below. Also, if you're following along with the programs or you're doing some of these things on your own as well, make sure to let me know how things are going. If you've got any questions, drop a comment down below and we'll see you guys later on.